How's it going, everybody? My name is Eric, and welcome back to another episode of Every Brand Breakdown, where we're going through every letter of the alphabet, breaking down the brands, going over a little bit of the history, some of the sales, what we should be looking for. So you can find good things from thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, pawn shops, whatever, because not every brand is created equally. There's a lot of garbage out there, and even within the brand, You need to kind of know what you're looking for. It's kind of like a bolo, but a little bit more in depth. We go over some proof of what sells and we kind of look at the eBay market and everything. Apologize if I'm nasally, I am sick. I have congestion and still recovering from the holidays. So do apologize for that. And I want to thank everybody for watching. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you're actually watching. And UNC Gargoyle here as a new reseller, he says these are gold. Thank you so much for doing for doing them. And you are very welcome, dude. I know that it's hard being a new reseller. Like what to look for is like the hardest thing. And I, I really want to focus on showing you how to look for things to look for and actually walking you through it every step of the way. On Monday, we did IZOD, and now we are doing Jinko, J-N-C-O, Jinko. And if you didn't already know, there is a playlist that is coming together quite nicely with a total of nine videos right now, and 10 including this one. Feel free to check that out. I'll put a, a link to that in the description, and there's a bunch of these videos in that playlist, and it is really gold for resellers, um, brand new resellers. Even intermediate and advanced resellers. Like, we go over some pretty advanced stuff in this. So, anyways, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comment section what brands you want to see bro- broken down. We're on J. Next, we're going to be on K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, all those brands. Let me know of a brand you want to see breaking down in the comments. Jinko. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Jinko, but this hits me hard in the 90s. I was a 90s kid, and I remember seeing Jinko jeans at school. They were cool. That, I think, is where the um, value is stemming from, the cool 90s fad. And the brand is still around, believe it or not. Um, They came out in 1985. They came out of Los Angeles and moved all across the country, specializing in boys' and men's jeans. And it really got popular through the late 90s. Uh, It really got popular to the late 90s. Um, I think they started having trouble in the early 2000s. And then I really don't understand the the clarity of what exactly happened. But they they came back in 2017, 2018, something like that. Uh, Somebody licensed the the Jinko jeans. And I think now they're made in China. The old ones are better than the new ones. That's all you really need to know. But they were famous for these wide legs these like gigantically wide legs that would flow when you walked in them. They'd be really flowy and have a certain look to it. But these these legs would be like 30 or 40 inches wide. Like it's crazy. Each leg, insane. Uh, and they'd also do these like graffiti streetwear style embroideries on some of the pants. Like that rhino right there. And uh, on their website right now, they're asking two two fifty five two hundred fifty five dollars kidding me? Where are these made? Doesn't say. It used to be made in the U.S., so that's a that's a hint we're going to be going through. It was into skateboard culture, which is kind of weird because they're like giant heavy jeans, but it was still in that like streetwear, skateboard, graffiti culture. And there's a little bit on their website. Check out their Instagram. Not that many posts, not that many followers. I think they popped back up September 2017, so yeah, just a couple of years ago. They're not very active. I've never tagged them or anything. eBay, this is where you want to be. Jinko, we're just going to type in the entire brand. 1,400 results. Not that saturated, um, especially for the, the vintage stuff, as you'll see. Everything completed, 1,300 completed. Everything sold, 981 sold. That comes out to about a 75% sell-through rate. But we're going to always sort price will ship in highest first. Kind of look at the market. You can see some crazy stuff. Here is this Royal Beetle Beattle. Um, it says it's over a thousand dollars. I don't know about that. Five hundred for this one. So I guess this is like a '90s Grail, where this is a used pair of jeans with a crazy embroidery on it. I think it's an embroidery. Maybe it's just painted on. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's painted on that one. They posted for a thousand dollars. It's crazy. There you go. Vintage. It's all the vintage ones are going to be the home run, super home run scores. And another thing you want to know is that the vintage ones are very, very easily recognizable. Here, we're going to go to these classic corduroys right here. They sold for $200. Check out the tag. Made in the USA right there. Bam. That's what you want to see on these Jinko jeans. They were made in the USA all throughout the 90s. The company was out of SMJ Manufacturing 
company. I, I don't know. It, it was manufactured in the United States. That's all you really need to know. And another thing about these pants, check it out. It's got this, it says pipes. It says Jinko jeans, a 179 classic edition. Like it gives you the name of the jeans in the, in the, in the tag. So let's go to another example. So if you don't know what your jeans are called, it tells you right there. These were called fat boy corduroys. So it's probably going to say fat boy corduroy in the tag. Yep, check it out. Fat boy, three, two, one, thirty-two, one, eleven. So maybe they could have. Oh, there it is, right there too. Fat boy. Uh, it says it right there on the right side of the tag. Made in the USA. The super wide leg ones are the ones that are selling for like the craziest amount of money. Look how wide those legs are. Thirty-three inch leg or leg width. Thirteen inch bottoms. So that's a twenty-six inch waist of the bottom. Still hundred dollars for pair of jeans and you're only going to be picking these up for like five bucks maybe a couple bucks from a thrift shop corduroys um it's, they got shorts too so if you see the bigger the legs the crazier the designs are gonna do good for you this one looks like this one looks like it's an embroidery and these ones i assembled in mexico of u.s components so these probably aren't as vintage well nine eighty dollars is still a lot but let's look at shirts there we go flamey aces 2xl 99 bucks uh, i think that was a used shirt if you find this stuff dead stock from the 90s with tags on it and everything oh that's gonna be really good but there you go just to spell out jinko 40 bucks some of the shirts can do well as well it's got these eight ball aces very graffiti street arty kind of stuff this guy might have underpriced that. That dragon thing probably could have sold for more. Yeah, made in the USA. The shirts are also made in the USA for the vintage stuff. There's your tag. That's what you're going to see flicking through the racks or even coming off the racks. You could see it um, maybe a little bit on the sleeve or something. It's poking out. Yeah, you would definitely see that on the shoulder if you're looking through a rack. So that's what you need to look for. I've never found this stuff, but... It will happen. Just being aware of it, you need to know a lot of home run items to have in your head in order to go find home runs. This was an old, this was an archive website. This is what their website looked like in 2017. I was just checking that out. And we're on Poshmark. They do sell on Poshmark. I, I would say eBay is your better market for it because it just, I don't know, it's more, it's a global market. And if somebody out in Europe or in Japan wants some vintage 90s Jinko jeans, then they, they could. But yeah, look at this. Still sold for three hundred dollars. This pair of kangaroo jeans with a terrible title. And he put it. It was originally eighty dollars. That's funny. And then this this pair is all torn up, and it's still sold for two twenty five. And it had totally torn up on the hem. That's just how iconic these Jinko jeans are. Yeah, but yeah, I would recommend selling them on eBay. Um, that's pretty much it. That's um this episode of every brand breakdown i hope you guys learned something today if you have any questions comments concerns um you just want to say thanks put it in the comment section i appreciate it and don't forget again to thumb the video up and i will talk to you guys in the next one thanks for watching bye